Well, sure, it's winter, but it's never too early to plan your visit to the zoo and perhaps become a volunteer. Here for Critters Uncaged is Scoville Zoo. We have director Ken Fry with us as well as, who is this? It's a Pueblan milk snake. So it comes from Mexico. Sure. Yeah, and, and they have that. What's the, the Pueblan milk snake's name? <laughs> we'll go with Carlos. Oh. Because, you know, Mexico. Sure. <laughs> yeah, it could be Pueblo. <laughs> sure. I mean, Juan. did you just, did you just Juan. name the snake on I the did, spot? I did, on the spot. Did, could does be the poor snake not have a name? <laughs> yeah, it probably does. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it. <laughs> and he probably doesn't know it either. Yeah. So tell us yeah. about Carlos Jr. here. Well, it is a, a milk snake, and they, they do have that um, yellow, red, and black pattern that coral snakes, the very poisonous, very deadly coral snakes have. Um, so, so the ones that aren't poisonous and the ones that are poisonous look very similar. Yeah, so if it's red on yellow... So if the red's touching yellow on both sides, it, it'll kill a fellow. If the right. red's touching black, like it is right here, mm -hmm. you're okay, Jack. So, oh. or See, my the, problem is I would go, if What's red's touching mean? yellow, you're, you're okay, fellow. <laughs> and if red's touching black, you're dead, Jack. And that's yeah. backwards. It's backwards. And that yeah. would cause problems. And so a lot of people forget their poems, and, sure. and they kill the snake. So actually, they're, they're kind of... Um, vulnerable because a lot of people aren't sure sure and so they yeah. um take a hoe out and and you know yep. and yeah. get all dowed away but uh, but they are they're good for the environment they eat rats and rodents and things and so they, they are good snakes to have around and uh, even those poisonous ones are good snakes to have would around. would you find one around here not in a zoo no okay no you'd find them down south you know, they which is why i don't live yeah. there yeah. <laughs> yeah but we have snakes here yeah. and they're good for, uh, for our environment too and i'm sure he's enjoying being out of the zoo for a while because yeah. he's probably missing all the people they are, are yeah hang, coming up to the zoo and whenever we have people walking through the zoo right now for you know construction workers or just um, people volunteers you know coming in and th th all the animals kind of perk up and look over and see you know figure out who's who's that because i think they do miss the people and yeah and the activity i've often wondered if the animals in the zoo feel like the people are the zoo yeah. it's like the opposite <laughs> to the animals they, yeah. they like get to go to the windows and watch us as yeah. we walk by and maybe yeah and some I mean, like the people watch yeah we'll never yeah. know yeah. Uh, people can volunteer though at the zoo here soon they right? can yeah we actually have a volunteer class starting up in february every wednesday from february 5th through early april uh, um, we have 10 classes, and they, they learn about um, reptiles, and they learn about amphibians, and they learn about the biomes and, and uh, diversity of the animals themselves and where they come from and, and how, they, how they work, basically. And so you can learn about the mammals and how to hold them and how to hold a, a snake. And you know, if you do travel with a snake, how to put it in a bag and then into a cooler. And, and so it's just all that fun stuff that we do. And so the people that uh, volunteer will help give tours at the zoo or go do mobile zoos, go give a presentation to a classroom or to a, a nursing home or something like that. And, and, uh, but we we also like them to, if they even run the carousel, to kind of know animal information. So people ask them about the eagles that are right across from their carousel. They can tell them some eagle facts and about like, those Like your eagles. top volunteer, like the best yeah. volunteer. What's, what's the job that the creme de la creme of volunteers get? They, well, they can do about anything they, they want. Yeah. yeah, they can about choose. You know, they, we don't let them do the animal care so much. Okay. We have the keepers that do that, but some like to help in some of the areas of the zoo. Like uh, we have one guy that's coming three days a week during the winter time and just kind of keeps holding the animals so they're kind of used to being held because we don't do as many mobile uh -huh. zoos. Uh, in the winter time, but we still do them, and we have like four mobile zoos coming up th later this month that uh, our volunteers will go out and do. All right, yeah. Yeah. a great opportunity for those yeah. animal lovers. What's the age range on that? Over 18, Over 18. To, uh, however okay. old that is, you know. So and you <laughs> as know, far as you want to go, lots of digits, yeah. All right. And so well, we have a lot bringing... of volunteers, about 70 volunteers at the zoo, and so we love our volunteers. They do thousands and thousands of hours that we could never repay because yeah. you know, we or we could be able to do. So we appreciate all they do for us. Well, Glad fun. you brought Carlos. And we yeah. appreciate you coming. Or Juan. <laughs>